All right, so here I'm preparing the electrolyte um, mixture solution. So it starts by uh, running my hot water and I poured my powder and it's these pouches here I was talking about here. And the main ingredient is this right here, the uh, polyethylene glycol. And it's got um, very interesting applications in solid state electrolyte active research anyways. So very promising. So here's the mix. So we simply only have to add a little bit of water. We mix it up here into a, um, a gel like. And then we put our cathode and anode in there. And we simply let it dry out. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water to it. I'm going to fill out a cup of hot water. I'm going to use a base. So this right here is going to be my base. And I'm going to add a little bit of water in there. And then we simply mix it up. So here they are now drying after I've mixed them. So these are the cells that are getting ready. I mix them, they're wet. So we're going to dry throughout the day and probably tonight or tomorrow I'll be able to test them. So just showing you the building of these cells. And the stuff comes in these little sachets, packets here. All right, so here it is. Once a cell is dried, the electrolyte hardens into a thick ceramic like this stuff here, very, very, very thick. So it molds the cathode and anode into place and we get a very good voltage, 1.23. So this is um, very interesting and very successful so far. So I'm just waiting for the other cells to dry now. So just to show you, because it may look wet, it's like completely dry. It's all molded in there. And what I use for the electrolyte is this stuff here. It's very experimental, but very interesting. And the ingredient is, is polyethylene glycol. And it's a powder that I just mixed. I'm not sure if the video worked or not, but I mix it with just a little bit of water into a paste here. And I either apply the paste to uh, fibers for electrolyte or on their own, like I did here, mixed it up and let it dry in these little cupcakes. I carefully place my anodes and cathodes and then they dry and freeze in place. So that's essentially it here. If you want to research this, there's a lot of advancements and interesting. It's ongoing research for various solid state electrolyte projects. And this is the stuff right here.